this is gate 2001 question so the question is saying that a adjacency relation of vertices is in a graph is in a table is represented by a table adjacency x comma y so this table gives you the information about, about adjacent adjacent vertices which of the following queries can not be expressed by relational algebra of constant length which of the following queries can not be expressed can not be expressed by a relational algebra expression of constant length of constant length tell me about the first one list all the vertices adjacent to a given vertex given vertex list all the vertices adjacent to a given vertex you can do that yes or no can be done but write it i will write it so you have this table remember your table is adjacent your table is adjacent x comma y this is your table what this table gives you information this table gives you information who are adjacent to which okay for example a1 a2 a3 if you take it undirected graph if you assume this is undirected graph or directed graph that that is your choice it does not matter okay but you can just take the uh, it you can take it this as a undirected graph let's assume a1 is adjacent to uh, a2 so automatically a2 will be adjacent to a1 a3 can be adjacent to a2 okay so automatically a2 will be adjacent to a3 a4 can be adjacent to uh, a3 and a3 will be adjacent to uh, a4 okay something like this okay let's assume this is your data now in this situation what will be the query for option a for option 1 what you will write the query for option 1 list all the vertices adjacent to a given vertex to a given vertex list all the vertices adjacent to a given vertex to a given vertex adjacent to a given vertex now this given vertex let's assume this is v maybe v0 assume this is v0 given vertex is v0 so what i will do let's assume given vertex is v0 let's assume given vertex is v0 so list all the vertices adjacent to v0 so that is very simple what you will do from this adjacent table from this adjacent table you will select where you have v0 you will select where x is equal to v0 and then you will project the y then you will project the y agree is this clear to everyone are because given vertex are see the question the question you see given vertex given vertex given vertex so vertex you can assume v0 you can assume this vertex as v0 so i can say this will be your final query yes or no correct or not so from the table or maybe you can take that as a1 okay you can take that vertex as a1 that vertex you can take as a1 correct you can take that vertex as a1 so this is how you can do so definitely this option a1 look at the option 1 definitely this option a i can say yes finite length query we have we have constant length query we have what about option b list all the vertices with self loops list all the vertices with self loops here let me assume that you have this data a4 is let's assume you have this data so what you will do you will select those where x is equal to y you will select those where x is equal to y x must be equal to y then you can project x then you can project x very simple okay this is also very simple so again we have a constant length for option b also we have a constant length query what about option c so what about option c list all the vertices which belong to cycle of less than 3 vertices list all the vertices list all the vertices which belong to cycle of length less than 3 cycle of length less than 3 you can write a constant length query for this also correct for this also you can write a constant length query for example for example maybe a4 is connected to a4 okay let's assume this is your table now ultimately what is this, what is in, the, in this table you can notice very simple the question is asking list all the vertices which belong to cycles which belong to cycles of length less than 3 so this okay what you can do for this question for option 3 what you can do for option 3 you can do option option 2 option 2 union yes or no this option 2 will give you cycle of length 1 cycle of length 1 self loop correct or not self loop agree or not cycle of length 1 
so this will give you self loop agree very simple so this option 2 this will give you cycle of length 1 and we need to write cycle of length 2 we need to write cycle cycle of length 2 like this type of cycle we want this type of thing we want okay this type of thing we want so how will i write this so actually if you want cycle of length 2 if you want cycle of length 2 then basically this type of thing you want x okay then this type of thing you want so this table you will take two times this table you will take two times x x here you can call it a1 and this table you will again take a2 where you can take x x here x y here so what do you want what do you want you want that if you have value x1 here it should be y1 here and then what should happen this y1 should be here and this x1 should be here or maybe you can take like this if a1 is here a2 should be here and if this a2 is here then a1 should be here okay this is what you want so what actually we want we want that this should be equal to this this should be equal to this agree okay this should be equal to this one this should be equal to this one is this enough is this enough i want cycles of length 2 i want cycles of length 2 so x and y must be different x and y must be different yes or no if i want this cycle of length 2 if i want if i want cycle of length 2 then this x and y must be must be different so remember this x and y this must be different so definitely these must be different okay these must be different yes or no so these must be different so finally i can say your query will be like this your query will be what you do you do a1 cross a2 from this a1 cross a2 you select you make the selection condition in the selection condition what do you write you write that okay a1 dot x is not equal to a1 dot y okay a1 dot x is not equal to a1 dot y and and a1 uh, dot x is equal to a2 dot y is equal to a2 dot y and and what else and a1 dot y is equal to a2 dot x so this selection condition you can put after putting this selection condition what you will do tell me after putting this selection condition you can project you can project the vertices x you can project the vertices x i can say a1 dot x you can project a1 dot x you can project you can project a1 dot x so like this you can do yes or no tell me this is clear or not to everyone okay so ultimately what we have done we have done this this query we have written okay this query we have written so this query we have done this query is done okay this query is done this query is done you can take their union you can take their union correct or not tell me is this clear this query done this query done you can take their union you can take their union can you combine these two into one can you combine these two into one these two can you combine into one self loop and two loop uh two length loop can you combine into one like one query see separate query query for this separate query for this can you write one query for them anyone has any idea anyone has any idea see separate query for this separate query for this then we are taking the union okay separate query here separate query here then we are taking the union can you combine these two into one yes very good yuvras very good very good excellent okay so basically just okay don't do this x is not equal to y don't put this condition let okay don't put this condition yes or no don't put this condition if you do this now you will get length cycles of length at most two cycles of length at the most two agree or not tell me tell me cycles of length at most two if you do only this so if you only do this like a1 cross a2 you do in this a1 cross a2 if i do this selection i do where a1 dot x is equal to a2 dot y and a1 dot y is equal to a2 dot x if i do this if i do this and then i project a1 dot x that's it so i can combine these two into one yes or no i can combine into one 
so i can have cycle of length at most two at most two so ultimately i have, remember this query also has finite length this query has also finite length are this query has also finite length see this has finite length this query has finite length this query also has finite length so i can say that finally ultimately i can say that this will also have finite length so ultimately i can say this also has uh, i can say sorry not finite length it is constant length not finite there is a difference between finite and constant yes or no there is a difference between finite and constant so actually i should say constant length so we have constant length query now finally what about this one tell me what about this one list all the vertices reachable from a given vertex list all the vertices reachable from a given vertex yes very good nikhil very good now this for this we can write a query first of all my question my question can we write a query for this can we write a relational algebra query for this yes we can write but yes we can write but its length will depend on what its length will depend on the largest path okay the longest path yes or no its length will depend on longest path agree or not diameter is enough for reachability yes or no diameter is enough for reachability is enough to check reachability correct to check reachability reachability so diameter is enough to check reachability right this is what i am saying this is enough this is sufficient to check reachability so here actually what you can do for example but actually you will not get the constant length query yes or no if you want the constant length query that you will not get just think about it let's assume there is a vertex here there is a vertex here c d e okay f g h let's assume this is your graph now for this graph tell me if for this graph what will be the query whatever the query you will write that will depend on what tell me tell me tell me tell me very simple point i am asking as a very simple point i am asking see if you want cycles of length 3 if you want cycles of length 3 how many tables you have to join if you want cycles of length 3 how many tables you have to join tell me if you have if you want cycles of length 3 if you want the cycles of length 3 a okay then you need three tables yes or no you need three tables you need to join three tables join we need to do we need to join three tables agree or not okay we need to join three tables that a should be uh, b b should be c and c should be a this type of three tables we need this type of three tables we need correct do you agree so three tables we need to join if you want cycles of length 3 to get cycles of length 3 tell me if you want to get cycles of length 4 if you want cycles of length 4 then four tables you need to join four tables you need to join this is also constant can i say this is constant can i say this is constant can i say this is constant this is also constant but if i ask you give me all the cycles but if i ask you give me all the cycles in a graph okay give me all cycles in a graph but if i ask you give me all cycles in the graph then maximum how many tables you will join okay okay tell me give me all cycles in the graph then how many tables you will join that will be equal to number of vertices very good very good yuvraj so how many tables you will join that will be the number of vertices is this constant is this constant is this constant is this finite is this finite yes so okay but is this constant but this is the constant no so if i ask you to find all cycles then the relational algebra query you can write the relational algebra query we can write yes or no the relational algebra query we can write we can write relational algebra query finite length we can write of course it will have finite length but it will not have constant length but it will not have constant length okay please tell me did you understand this question please tell me did you understand this question okay so remember if you want all cycles if you want all cycles then how many tables you need to join 
that will be depending on number of vertices that will be same as number of vertices number of vertices is finite yes but it is not constant so you will have relational algebra query yes finite length query yes but constant length query no okay is this clear if i have n vertices like a1 a2 a3 a4 and so on an now for this how many tables you need to join so number of tables that you need to join number of tables okay that we need to join okay that will be that will be n okay that will be n or maybe n minus 1 actually that will be exactly equal to n minus 1 so that will be equal to n minus 1 but number of tables we need to join that is order of n so that is not constant agree or not the point is that is not constant the point is that is not constant the point that is not constant okay any doubt in this which queries we can write in a constant length which queries we cannot write in a constant length so for this question answer will be what for this question answer will be option d okay so very simple question and very interesting question right yes or no this is gate 2001 question very interesting question nowadays this question if if this question comes they will ask you msq nowadays if this question comes they will ask you msq so for example if you want to find if you want to find all the cycles cycles of length 3 constant length cycles of length 4 constant length so this is also constant length this is also constant length but all cycles all cycles not constant length query not a constant length query not a constant length query in relational algebra mm -hmm.